I'm going to show you the installation process of the Hayward Phoenix Section Site Cleaner. In the box is all the parts that you need for a skimmer or side port installation. You have all the hoses in here also. You want to make sure your filter is clean. Also make sure that the pump basket is also clean. And the Phoenix also comes with different size inlets. You have the medium one that comes with it from the factory. If you want to change the suction inlet to a larger or small one, you simply push these tabs here. And the inlet pulled right out towards you. The large suction inlet will give the Phoenix more wall climbing ability and the small one is for a variable speed pump or if you have a pump with low suction. Okay, to insert the mouthpiece very easy there's an R and an L and on the Phoenix itself there's an L and an R. It just slides right in there, you push down and it snaps right in. Okay, so now we're going to set the proper hose length for the Phoenix for your pool. Basically you want to stretch it across to the furthest point of your pool from where you're going to connect it from and you want one hose on the deck. I'll show you that right now. You're going to take this lead hose here. It has the floats on here. Leave them in the position that comes from the factory. You want to take this part here. You're going to firmly press onto the head of the cleaner. Okay, now we're going to attach the hoses. You want to push on here like this and you want to give it a twist. So keep twisting the hose and pushing down until they're snug. It should look something like this here. Okay, here's the pool side port and there's the cleaner with the hose at the furthest point. So you see I have the Phoenix here on the deck. I have one hose length sticking out of the pool and there's the side port attachment over there. So this is the proper hose length for the Phoenix. Okay, so now you want to submerge the cleaner. You want to take the head of the cleaner and you want to push it down in the water. You want to take the hoses and push them hand over hand. You get to the last hose and you'll see air evacuate. Okay, the last hose you'll see the air come out in the water. So now it's fully submerged. So for the skimmer installation you would just remove your basket. You'll see two holes in your skimmer. This here goes in the back hole if you have a two hole skimmer in most cases. And you're going to get this adapter and you're going to go ahead and stick it in here and push it in firmly. So it's very easy to adjust the suction of the Hayward Phoenix. If it's moving too slow you simply turn this dial clockwise. That'll close off the suction to the skimmer and increase the suction to the Phoenix. If you want to decrease the suction you can go ahead and open it up like this. If for the skimmer attachment you slide the hose under the deck into the skimmer. You would just stick it firmly into the skimmer adapter and you can go ahead and adjust the suction. If you have a side port, the Phoenix comes with a back lock. It'll come closed when you get it. Simply get a screwdriver and just pop it open. This prevents any kind of entrapment if the hoses pop out. With the back lock, I like to add some Teflon tape here to the threads. That way it's easy to get on and off if something happens, if it breaks off in the pool. Okay, so once you have it wrapped with Teflon tape, come over to the side port and we'll thread it in. This is very easy to do. You just find your side port and you simply thread it into the wall until it goes all the way. Okay, so it should look something like that. Okay, now we want to insert the hose into the vac lock. If it's in the closed position, you can use the hose here on the lock and just pop it open. You want to stick the hose in there firmly. You want to push this top part down on it so that it locks the hose in. You can see how it sticks to the ridge right there. If you have your cleaner hooked up to the side port, you'll find the side port adjustment over here like this. You would just simply adjust the suction up or down with the side port. Now we're going to adjust the Phoenix wheel RPMs. Carefully take the cleaner and bring it to the side of the pool. You want to hold the right wheel towards you. You see the hump on the tire there and you see the hose. We're going to count how many times that hump moves around in one minute. And that's how you adjust your wheel RPMs. 11 to 14 wheel RPMs is the optimal for the Hayward Phoenix. <laughs> The installation process of the Hayward Phoenix, very easy. 